update video. Yay! I'm a little bit mad at myself that this is the first video that I'm doing. I thought for sure that I would have at least two or three of these videos up by now, but I have it and that's because I've been so sick and the sickness like messed with me mentally and made me really negative and I didn't want to make videos just being negative because I know you guys know how excited I am to finally be having a baby and I didn't want to take away from that but the doctor gave me some medicine and I am feeling like myself again and I'm so excited and so happy and so I want to share everything with you guys. <laughs> Anyway, so I'm just doing a quick one take video today. Hopefully in the future I'll be doing more of these and they won't be one takes. Um, and I'm going to try to upload those every once in a while on Saturdays. I also kind of want to just do videos on Saturdays talking about things that are going on in our lives. I know you guys, a lot of you watch Casey LeVere and see that, but I want to show you from my side. You know, the special mommy moments that I notice. Anyways. So I am almost 16 weeks, which is crazy. This is going by so fast, and I really hope it continues to go by this fast. But we'll see. The baby is about the size of an avocado, so it's still just so tiny, just like this big, big, tiny little baby, which is exciting. Um, Gage has been loving knowing what the baby looks like and how big the baby is. They're both so excited and so interested. And what's going on but I've been really surprised with Gage because every night he'll come in and say mom will you pull something up on the computer so we can see what the baby looks like so that's been so much fun I I've been kind of sad that I've waited so long to have a baby because my kids um, ages are so spread apart but it's also been so much fun because they really know what's going on and it just makes this more fun I can't wait um, Something else that's really exciting is we're actually going tonight to get a 4D ultrasound so the kids will get to really see what the baby looks like. I'm so excited to see their reactions. Oh, it makes me want to cry. But um, we also get to find out what the baby is. We, I mean, it's so exciting. I don't, I don't know. I'm getting emotional. Um, anyways, I don't know what this baby is. With the other two, I felt like I knew, but I also really, really wanted a girl with Braylee and a boy with Gage, and so maybe that's why I felt that way. With this one, I would be so happy with either a boy or a girl, and so maybe that's why I don't know what I'm feeling like it is, but the other day at the doctor, I did all of a sudden get this overwhelming feeling that it was a girl. I was like, Casey, we're having a girl, and he was like, no, we're not. We're having a boy, so he really wants a boy, which kind of makes me really want a boy, but I also have this little feeling that it might be a girl, and I've loved hearing from you guys. Um, a lot of you think that we're having a girl, and a lot of you think like, we should have a girl because the butlers have had so many boys in a row, and it's true. I do think it is time for a girl in the butler family, but another boy would be so fun because there's this huge group of boys, and if we have a girl, we'll be like the only girl. So anyways, I'm excited, I don't care. We do have a name picked out for the boy. Casey has a name that he really loves. It's growing on me. I think it's a great name. But it's kind of a man's name, but it's growing on me. I am liking it more. So I'm pretty sure that that's what we'll name the boy. I have no clue what to name a little girl. I, I don't know what's going on. Usually I have th these things like all planned out, but I don't have any girl names. So anyways, if you guys have suggestions, please leave them in the comments. I would love to hear from you guys. Um, I have a book with some notes written in there. So if you see me looking down, I have the worst case of pregnancy brain. I'm a little scatterbrained as it is, but this, <laughs> this pregnancy, I am just losing my mind. I feel like I don't know what's going on ever. Thank goodness I have Casey because he keeps me right on track and he's been so sweet and helpful with this pregnancy. <laughs> oh man. Okay. Cravings. My cravings have been all over the place. For a long time I was really sick, so I would just eat anything that sounded good. Anything that I felt like I could eat without getting nauseous afterwards. Um, now I've been craving uh, random things like potatoes, which I really did crave with Braylee. I wanted everything potatoes, and I've been craving potatoes. I've also been craving salad and ranch dressing and vegetables dipped in ranch dressing, which I craved with Gage. <laughs> and something that I am just recently craving that I did not crave with the other two are sweets. With Braylee and Gage, I did not want sweets. It, they never sounded good. And when I was first pregnant, this time they didn't sound good either, 
but now they're starting to sound good, which is really bad. Oh, I'm going to gain so much weight eating treats, but that's okay. Um, as far as weight gain goes, I actually got so sick that I lost almost, uh, I lost about nine pounds that I am now gaining, that I'm feeling better. So I've gained back about six. So I'm still a little bit under where I started, but anyways, so that's with the weight gain. Um, maternity clothes, I cannot find any maternity pants that look good on me. I've tried a few different places, so any of you mommies out there that have found good maternity pants, will you send me ideas of places to go because I can't find any that don't look absolutely horrendous on me. <laughs> so I don't know. Um, Angel that's on the mom's view. I love her so much. She finally taught me how to use the belly band. I got it with Gage and had no clue how to wear it. And so I had it, but I didn't use it. She was like, oh, you just undo your pants and you put the belly band over it so that you can't see that they're undone. And that's how you wear it. So I have been doing that, which has been very, very helpful. And I'm so grateful. So anyways, I would love to know what you guys would like to hear about or see on these update videos. This is new to me. I don't know what you guys want to see, but I'm so excited to share this exciting and fun journey with you guys. And I want to tell you everything that you want to know. So please let me know what you want to hear about. And I want to thank you guys. I love you all so much. And I've known that you guys have been so supportive and thoughtful and caring. But since I've been pregnant, you guys have just, just made me feel so happy every single day and on days that I really, really needed it. You guys have been so sweet in comments and you've tweeted me and it makes me so happy to know that you want to know what's going on with the baby. So thank you so much. I can't tell you enough how much I love you because I really, really do. And I'm so excited. I'm so excited for you guys to know what we're having too. Um, again, watch for those videos to go up either tomorrow or Saturday. We'll be revealing what we're having. I'm going to try to hold out till Saturday, but I don't know if I can. So, um, I've watched other pregnancy update videos and they show you what the, your belly looks like. So I guess I'll show you what my belly looks like, which I'm a little embarrassed about doing. Um, but, uh, this is, you can't really tell. This is what my belly looks like in a shirt. I've been wearing loose shirts. Uh, this is what my belly looks like without. So, just a little baby, little baby bump. Anyways, right there. So that's what the baby looks like. Again, it's only the size of a little avocado. So cute. Anyways, I love you all so much. Thank you for watching. Leave me comments down below of what you want to hear about and what you think the baby is. The majority of you guys have said you think it's a girl too. Um, so I'm excited to see who's right. So leave comments. I love you guys. Bye.